Okay, well, how did that how did that work for you? Um, what we did, just to recap, was we're working with the more complete data set that uh, we find in the paper by Lehman and Kigwin. A data set that consists of depth beneath the seafloor along the x-axis and the age of the sediments as a function of depth. So we have age on this axis and depth on this axis. And I'm not sure how far you, you got with this. Hope, hopefully you were able to divide up the data set into a series of linear segments. Um, remember what we did. We came back here. We click on the graph, right click on the graph. We select data. We add a new time series. We had a new series here. In this case, I'll work with, with this one. I'll do this real quickly as a review. Just 7,210 years to 1,320 be the series name. I'll select the uh, range of depths and come over here and select the range of ages and click OK. <clears throat> so now I have three series. Um, or the, the original series, the complete series, and then I have this series of data plotted here and this series of data plotted here. Just as we did with this shallow section, we can calculate a trend line for each linear segment in succession. And I'll go ahead and pump that up a little bit in size and change the variable names so that they're consistent with the data that we've been working with. And I'll just go ahead and get rid of this. <clears throat> we have another slope. And I won't bother with the time gradient. And sedimentation rate. We can just copy this slope. And remember that has units of years per centimeter. And then down here, we're going to just take the reciprocal of that. That gives us 0 0.06891. That's in centimeters per, per year. So, yeah, I hope you hope you made your way through that and we're able to subdivide this series of ages versus uh, you know the, the variation of age with depth into a series of linear segments during which the sedimentation rate or the time gradient was relatively constant and perhaps undertake some analysis and computation of sedimentation rates and uh, you know based on the gradients that we get from the best fit line let me do one more just to illustrate I'll select some data again we're going to add another time series in this case we'll use this time series over here and we'll run it from 11280 to 13450. Years in the past, our X series will be this set of numbers. <clears throat> and our Y series will be this column over here. And uh, we'll 
click OK and click OK again. And you see we have another another time series. Now we could format each of these time series, you know, if you didn't like the salmon color, the gray, or the orangey yellow and the blue, you could change those around with the format data series option. Uh, right now we just want to add another trend line. Uh, we're, you know, we subdivided the data set based on linear trends within the data, so that goes without saying. And uh, got another trend line equation that uh, going to have to move that one up here. And let's uh, pick up the font there and change the variables around. So we have age, we have depth. And I think you can see what's happening is we go from the steeper slopes. The steeper slopes have lower sedimentation rate. In other words, it takes us about 1,000 to 7,000 years, about 6,000 years to deposit um, you know, about, uh, well, about 160 centimeters, but from 7,000 to 10,000, we deposit more than 160 centimeters and you know less than half the time and we can see that the sedimentation rate is increasing as we go go deeper and deeper into the section but from about 11,000 years ago to 13,450 years ago we had deposition of about 1500 centimeters of, of sediment now, if I take this uh, slope, again, do it one last time. Uh, we'll put the, <clears throat> put the slope in here. And we'll just drop that in there. So during this period of time, the sedimentation rate was 0.695. The Time gradient, 1.437 years per centimeter. Um, sedimentation rate, again, increasing. So that's pretty much a review of everything you really need to know in order to break down this data set and see how the sedimentation rate varies. We are making that assumption that the sedimentation process is kind of piecewise linear that we're we go from a we go through periods of time during which the sedimentation rate is approximately constant and gradually increasing as we go backward in time uh, increasing from about 0.025 centimeters per year to 0.7 centimeters per year. So quite a rapid increase in sedimentation rate as we go back uh, from about 1490 years ago to almost 14,000 years ago. So, so we've learned something about the history of sedimentation in this area and the rate at which sedimentation occurs or has occurred or did occur and uh, basically from an analysis of uh, the kind of analysis that we've performed and um, please continue on with this and kind of complete the uh, complete the breakdown here that we we've outlined for you compute these compute these slopes to get some additional experience and again this is a more complete data set and the analysis that we're doing here is certainly much more comprehensive than uh, we're, we're, we're doing uh, with the, the other data set that we're working with, but, but I think this gives you a much more, this gives you a deeper feel, a better, more comprehensive feel for the kind of analysis that you could undertake, you know, if, if you were asked to, to do it, you should be able to do it.